Hello everyone, this presentation is going to be slightly different than my presentation in previous year because it will be less technical, it will be devoted uh, to a real use case scenario of using uh, Julia in a production, in a manufacturing company. So let us get the things rolling. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about our customer, which is named Cross. Cross is one of the largest in the Europe bicycle manufacturer, with having man bike manufacturing plants with a capacity of up to 1 million bikes a year. Uh, so this is quite a big company. And now what's happening? COVID has caused a total collapse in supply chains. Uh, and you know that if you go to shop to try to buy a laptop or you go to shop to buy a car, to go to the dealership to buy a car, and it's not there. Uh, and it's quite similar with the bicycle parts. Uh, it's very hard to get right forks, right delariers, and other other parts of bicycle. And if you are a if you have a bicycle manufacturing plants, then you really need to handle this problem. So this bike mark market has been turned totally upside down and you need to handle it somehow. And so what we did, uh, we have constructed a massive mathematical programming model. This has been done with using Julia Jump and Gurobi.gl libraries. Uh, and it turns out that building such Julia model led to 25% increase in uh, the uh, manufacture of bicycles. So it allowed us to produce 25% more bikes and increase the total profitability of the entire company by 10% uh, compared to a solution recommended by a leading ERP platform. So uh, this, this, is, uh, this is a comparative compared to the other tools that could have been used by the company to plan the production. Uh, so you can see it's very significant in, impact on a business. This is a big, big business and 10% of course is serious money. So the goal was to optimize the customer satisfaction. So trying to meet their demand, trying as good as possible to provide the bikes with regard to, to production constraints uh, part of ability, assembly line of ability, employee of ability, and so on, and the demand. And so what we have constructed, it's a mathematical programming model to plan the production. Uh, it's, uh, we use it for production planning up to 12 months. So this is for, for the full manufacturing season. Uh, so looking into major model assumptions, on one side, we have the supply. So on one side, um, we have the availability of parts, the availability of workforce, uh, various production technologies, quantities of components that can be purchased. And on the other hand, we have demand. And of course, it's not easy to meet supply and demand if you have a demand for a green bike, but there is no green paint available. So what do you need to do? You can present your customer a blue bike instead with a different color and say, this is all I can do. Or maybe swap a component, so swap one component for another component, because simply sometimes of bike components are not available anymore. Uh, so this was the goal of the model. So the goal of the model was to adjust the production process in a manufacturing plant to match the market needs as much as possible. This is a small part of the model. So suppose we have two bike retailers, one and, uh, one and two, and we have some maximum production capacity, so some maximum level that we can produce. Now, this is, this is a result of production line availability, assembly line availability, bike parts of availability, uh, but also it's interconnected to other uh, um, availabilities uh, due to the bike interchange, bike, bike substitution process. So, uh, for example, I can have customers for green bikes, like I said, but I'm providing them blue bikes instead, or slightly different, very similar, but slightly different bikes, because I'm not, I'm not exactly able to produce exactly what dealerships have ordered.
So in order to present that, we have built a mathematical programming model with 4 million decision variables and something around 100 million uh, uh, business constraints. Uh, this is a mixed integer linear programming model. Also some quadratic programming models were involved. Uh, this is an integer model, which means because we cannot produce a half of a bag, we cannot give to a customer to a shop half of a bag. This all needs to be uh, integer numbers, which adds additional computational complexity to the model. Just to understand the complexity, uh, I've made simple pictures, so there are small differences in pixels on the left and the right. So these are two possible bike manufacturing um, and distribution plans. And the difference between the pictures on the left and on the right is 10% profits of the company. So small movements, small differences in allocation can lead to huge differences in um, the profitability, the profitability of the company. Uh, so now something about technical stack. So as the input was a leading ERP platform, and actually this ERP platform can produce manufacturing plants, uh, plants, and it has produced. So there was a manufacturing plan by the leading uh, ERP platform, and we have been using that for as a benchmark. And on the other hand, we have a, a, a connected to the platform via APIs or export a CSV file. Then everything of this has gone to Julia. There was pre-processing, data sanity validation, uh, data frames. The GL package was using quite a lot. And then it went to linear algebra. And lots of linear algebra transformations have been made to the data before the actual computations. Uh, this using Julia R actually allowed us somehow to control the huge complexity of the problem. Then it went to jump and uh, jump and gurobi.gl. So in the end, a several, uh, significant set of uh, mixed integer linear programming problems were solved. We have also developed custom her heuristic to handle the complexity and the difference and the outcome is 10% more profit for the company. Uh, so the mathematical programming turned out uh, to be quite comfortable to be used in Julia. So the packages like it is, this has been mentioned, it's just Jump, it's Gurobi, the GL. We are running that on AWS platform and this model is now run, being run weekly to optimize several processes at the cross. So several manufacturing and distribution processes. Uh, because when we started with man one model, then of course the customer realized how big profits Julia can bring to the uh, mathematical optimization of Julia can bring to the company. So several more models also have been developed. Uh, if you have any more other questions, if you all want to talk more about problems such as this one, or how more about my experience of Julia in production, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much for your attention.